from the University of Virginia, David Marriott with cover play. Hi, Dave. Hey, how's it going? Good. Hello, Maryland. How are you doing? <laughs> As she said, I'm David Marriott, the president and founder of CoverPlay Audio. CoverPlay is the maker of the Mojo speaker, the world's thinnest, lightest, premium Bluetooth speaker. It's no secret that our cell phones, our iPads, our laptops have terrible sound, and people are turning to Bluetooth speakers to make them sound great. The problem is that the good sounding speakers out there, they're just too bulky. It's like a brick rolling around in your backpack, and people want something that's even better. And so today we bring to you the solution. Just holler. Come on and holler back. This is the world's thinnest premium Bluetooth speaker. At only seven millimeters thin and weighing in at eight ounces, this ultra thin, ultra light speaker will give you up to 95 decibels. It blows away the competition, even of the Jawbone Jam Box that beats out of your pill. Additionally, it'll give you up to 10 hours of full bass play on a single charge. One of the best things about it, probably the best thing, is that it's wireless. You connect to any of your devices through Bluetooth. If you don't have Bluetooth, you can always plug in, as shown here, with a headphone size jack and really amplify any device. You know, we take this thing everywhere we go, on the court, at the beach, around our home, at campus. But the, the thing that we love about it is that it truly gives you sound that's as mobile as you are. As I mentioned, we're not alone. There's tons of players in this category. The market leaders right now are Jawbone Jambox, the Beats Pill. These both weigh, weigh in around you know, 13, 12, 13 ounces and 80 to 85 decibels. We come in being even lighter, even louder than the competition. And we have this, the unique form factor that allows you to slip it in your bag so you don't even know it's there. Um, something that conventional speakers just cannot replicate. We've had a lot of traction so far. We launched a successful Kickstarter campaign raising over $30,000, hundreds of pre-sales. Um, also, if you fly out of here today, Pull out Sky Mall, you'll see us in there. We want you to circle it and say, what an awesome product. Appreciate that. Um, you'll find us also in retailers throughout the US coming soon. And you can buy now on our website, coverplayaudio.com. Bloggers have been covering us. We've had a great time because people are so excited about this new technology, this new speaker. Going forward, we'll be getting into a lot of targeted retailers. Brookstone, Sharper Image are very interested. Hamlocker Schlimmer. Um, these types of retailers are perfect for what we're doing, and we're going to expand online, Amazon, and on our website. We'll be getting our Kickstarter supporters and all of you to give us reviews so we hit the ground running, so people have confidence in our product. Um, we already are working on version 2.0, so we can stay ahead. We need to be innovative, we need to be moving things along. The next version will allow you to pair two of these together so you, get, you can get a surround sound, a lot of consumers wanted that, or pair with a uh, subwoofer. So you get a lot of kick at home, but you still have a super lightweight speaker to take wherever you go. You'll have better conference calling, and you'll be able to get your speaker in the color of your favorite team. Um, financially, we're looking, the, the outlook is very bright. I mean, within just a few years, we'll be making, in revenue, tens of millions of dollars. Um, additionally, with larger volumes, we'll be able to get our costs down. Currently, it costs us about $38 to make one. Just at larger volumes, we'll be at 24, and even better as we improve our sourcing. Um, our sources for our product, our components. Um, but it takes more than just a great product to succeed. Kevin Plank was just saying that. It takes a great team. It takes people who are going to go after it and make it happen. I come from a background of engineering and entrepreneurship, having started a few businesses. And when I started, I pulled in my brother. He's also an entrepreneur. He was a retail buyer for Kohl's department stores, understands retail, and he also has, um, has an MBA. And lastly, I'll tell you about Sean. He's an incredible designer. He knows how to model things and make them look good, and he knows how to make them manufacturable. In fact, he's managed products all the way from manufacturing to getting them to customers. He's an incredible asset to our team and extremely driven. We have a few other people also in the company. In fact, a few more brothers. I guess it's just in our blood. I don't know. Um, and with this team, we will succeed. And that success today is going to bring first $50,000 <laughs> That's right. And that $50,000 will go a long way. We've been able to secure some money, but it's expensive money. 
Um, that 50,000 will be an incredible blessing to us as, we, as we're buying more inventory and developing this new product. Additionally, Kevin Plank and his team, are, <laughs> we're really excited to work with them. Um, we, we need some sort of protective cover, something that's lightweight, you know, airy, wicks away moisture. We, we envision Under Armour inside protection for our speaker. Be it, it's a perfect marriage of two great technologies, two great products. Additionally, a lot of you know that Beats Audio grew so fast because of the way that it leveraged its endorsements. Under Armour understands how to do this, and we need that expertise, we need that understanding of how to do that to really make our brand expand quickly. And lastly, let's face it, it's a consumer product. I mean, Kevin and his team understand how to make, make a business grow from nothing to billions of dollars with a consumer-facing product. And we need that expertise, we're excited to work with them, and really, we just want to hang out with them. <laughs> anyway, we thank you all for your time, and we look, for you, we look forward to your questions. Awesome. Great. Very cool product, Dave. Um, yeah, yeah. And some major leagues sucking up as well, so good job with that. <laughs> it wins you no favor with the court, I promise you, though. That's Although okay. I do think, I think, you got a, I think you got a terrifically cool product. So what yeah. have you heard out there? Who else is making something like this? Because, so correct me if I'm wrong, this would fit, this, I could hold my, I could use this as an iPod, iPad case as well, yeah. or everything is compatible? Yes, exactly. In fact, we've already started developing a, a neoprene sleeve. We already have one, actually. That, you can slide your iPad in, has a little divider, you slide this in, you carry them both together, just like a normal iPad case. Right. And yeah, it offers, adds no extra weight, and it's, I don't know, it's just ultra thin, it's really cool. So yeah. it, sim it simply pairs with the iPad then, yeah. you don't have to plug it in, there's no, no. Hard, hard wires or anything else? No. What about, what's in the cards for iPhones and uh, droids and everything else? <laughs> Works with all of them perfectly, because all of them are outfitted with Bluetooth. Yeah so that it can connect with anything. We didn't want to put any sort of port or any specific connector. I mean, the iPhone 5 just changed. I'm sure many of you are pleased about that. Yeah. Um, and so we wanted to make it so it applied to all of those devices, all tablets. Um, we haven't found a single product out there that's high-end like that that won't, won't be able to right. connect with it. And what's proprietary? The proprietary is the secret sauce inside. It's the electrostatic speakers. They've actually had these for probably 20 years, but they've never ha been able to make them mobile before. And it's because there's a center membrane that they have to charge up, and so it'll hold a positive and negative charge, and that's what attracts and repels and makes a sound. Mm. And, we, and with this technology, we've been able to make that center membrane hold its charge, so you don't have to run a high voltage through it. It lasts for a long time, gives out great audio, but you don't have to be grounded to being plugged in or really shielded so it doesn't hurt anyone. It's very safe. Very cool. Good, Michael. So, Thanks. Michael, do you, sorry. So, Michael, do you um, actually own that technology? It is patented and we license it. Awesome. Yeah. How big, uh, first of all, I love the product. Thank you. Great design. Uh, we sell maybe top five resellers of Bluetooth speakers in the country. Like, yeah. It's part of my business. It's a, it's a, looks, and I see a lot of speakers. This is very impressive. Great. Can I how, get your card after? <laughs> <laughs> how big do you envision the market, the opportunity for you? Because there's all different shapes and sizes of Bluetooth speakers. What do you think? Right. What do you play? Um, so, well, I mean, we, we've, the way we've narrowed our market more is we focus on people who have multiple devices, specifically people who would have maybe an iPhone and an iPad, or maybe, you know, a Surface tablet or something like that. And we play in that sphere really well, because if you'll see, it's about the size of an iPad. Um, obviously much lighter, you should pass it down, just feel how lightweight it is. Um, and so we, we really focus on people that size. And so it's a market, I mean, it's a market of, you know, close to 10 million people, and it's growing at about 85% per year. So if you it's, were wildly successful, is this $5 million in three years, $10 no. million? If we're, wildly success, if we're wildly successful, I mean, we're, we're talking, you know, 30, 40 million in three, three to four years. Right. Um, and, you know, we'll know soon if it's going to explode. Either way, I know it's going to do well. I haven't yet pitched it where someone hasn't come up to me after and said, I just bought one on your website. Yep. I mean, it's the kind of thing that people love. All right, so let's, let's gauge some brand heat inside. Who would buy one of these? Yeah, yeah. all right. Yeah. Any, anybody else have anything like it now that's uh, other than the, the jaw bones, et cetera, but anything that thin, anything that light? I think you, I mean, I don't know if we're going to need specific answers right now, but I think you've got the answer too, so. All right, vote with your texting later. Yeah. What's your, what's your website? Coverplayaudio.com, and yep. you can pre-order right now. You'll have in three or four weeks. Congratulations. Great job, right, Dave. Thanks you. very much.